Hello, everyone. Welcome to Development Palettes. I am Aaron Loomis coming to you from the Drew Estate Studio. With me today is June Lou, Seth Guys, John McTavish. How are you guys doing? All right. Hello, man. Doing all right, man. Football's back. Uh, leave, a, leave, leave your fo- favorite football team in the comments for this review. I don't know why, but I think that'd be kind of fun. There you go. So today we are talking about the All Saints Dedication Berkey. The cigar is a Robusto Extra 5.5 by 50. Comes out of the Tavacusa factory in Nicaragua. Uh, rappers Mexican San Andres Maduro, Biner and Filler, both from Nicaragua, uh, blended by Emilcar Perez Castro. Price point is $9.49. Cigar was released in March of 2020. So with all that out of the way, June, what was your overall experience like with this cigar? Um, it was, well, first of all, pretty excited to smoke something that I never heard of. So it's pretty rare where I feel like we review something where it's like a whole new brand that I've not heard of, um, such as this. So, uh, so essentially knowing that and kind of going in blind in that sense. Um, uh, but, you know, what came out of it was, I thought was, there was a lot of mediocrity to this cigar. Uh, not your best Mexican San Andreas experience. Um, a lot of like minerals, spices, like soil, dirt kind of a component. There was very little, like, if not any like sweetness or like any like fruit tones or any of that kind of stuff that would have dramatically helped a profile. Um, so, you know, it was average for me, uh, but uh, I guess uh, <laughs> the good of it is it burned and drew very well. <laughs> All right, Seth, what were your overall thoughts? Yeah, I mean, listen, I, I, I thought it was an average cigar. Um, I got some chocolate notes, wood, cream, um, just spices throughout. So it was not really overly complex, but it was enjoyable, solid core flavor profile. But, you know, average cigar. All right, John, what are your thoughts? I love June's optimism going into a new cigar, and he's excited for it. I mean, I, I used to feel that way. I'm not sure I feel that way anymore. But, no, I'm just joking. It is actually kind of nice to try a new brand that you haven't tried before because you really don't have any preconceived notions. But uh, I'm with everybody else. It was it was a pretty average experience, and, you know, I feel like we've been saying this a lot about a lot of San Andreas cigars, and I'm not sure if that's just because – People are expecting to put a San Andreas wrapper on there and hoping it carries the blend or what's going on. It wasn't unpleasant. It was just, um, you know, I had some interesting cocoa notes here and there. Uh, I had some some baking spices, like uh, Seth was saying. Um, but it just didn't rise above, you know, the other 75 San Andreas wrapped cigars that are on the, um, on the market. Uh, my burn was actually really good, so I didn't have any issues with burn. Uh, draw was a little bit resistant, like a little on the tight side, and then it opened up after I'd been smoking for a little while. But, um, you know, pretty average. Aaron, what about you? Uh, for me, the cigar start pretty, started pretty average. Um, you know, the combination of flavors weren't really in balance. Um, second and final thirds just kind of continued to degrade from there. Um, it's got some char and bitterness joined in, and the final third was pretty off-putting to me. So, um you know, kind of a bummer when you have a uh, subpar experience with a, you know, a new brand, um, you know, kind of hoping for a better outcome. But I was really curious to see what your guys' thoughts were on this. Um, I think I smoked it before the rest of you guys did. But um, perfect construction on my cigar, man. Burn and draw, perfect on it. But, uh, yeah. It's hey, just... hey, question for you. Yeah. Uh, I noticed that, for me, the smoking, the total smoking time seemed a little on the quick side. I only had an hour and 28 minutes, which seems really fast for a Robusto Extra. Do you recall what you clocked in on this one? I would say probably around the same, maybe an hour and a half. But, uh, yeah, it did seem to kind of go a little a little quick. It's not too quick. Yeah. Yeah, that's about a half. For me, that's about 15, really half an hour too not quick. Padrone, not Padron quick, but it was quick. Right, yeah. All right, let's get into the score. Let's start at the top with June at six even. Uh, John gave it a 5.80. Seth gave it a 5.70, and I gave it a 4.33. So, June, how that six even match up for you? It was an uh, average tasting cigar with really good construction. It's basically what that was. Yep. All right, John, 5.80. I mean, when you think about what is a 5.80 <laughs> as a score, you know, like you get a cigar that has a slightly above average profile with a pretty decent construction. That's how you get at that five eight zero. Uh, I'd say flavor wise, it's 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 a, probably a five six, um, but like June, the uh, the construction I think elevates the overall score. All right, Seth, five point seven zero. Is anyone else wondering why June is the most negative highest score I've ever seen on the face <laughs> of the planet? So, no, I mean, hey, listen, hey, at least he doesn't say this is the best cigar he's ever smoked in his life. Six point zero. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
No, I mean, hey, listen, I'm consistent. You are, you are consistent. It's, it, listen, I give it 5.7. Construction draw really, you know, construction brought it up. Um, average flavor profile, not bad, but it's just nothing wowing. Yeah, my 4.33 matches up perfectly. I mean, there was everything pre light about this cigar was just saying this is going to be good. And then as soon as the flame hit it, it was just on a, you know, a dive bomb trajectory, man. There was just, it just went downhill straight from there. Um, I mean, it's got Rocky Patel. If you, I think if you peel the band off, you can hear me. Oh, why'd you have to break? You had like an awesome drop there and then you broke up. Yeah. Yeah. So if you peel the, if you peel the wrapper off the cigar, it would say Rocky Patel underneath. I bet you. So it's just so prototypical of what's what comes from that brand that uh yeah it's, profile. Yeah. it's exactly that. So yeah. uh any other final thoughts from you guys on this one? I love that Cigar Authority gave the cigar in ninety two. Yeah, bullshit. I'm just seeing these cigar reviews. Really? I th- listen, th- this is gonna be a, a cigar that does really well by those really small reviewers and then All Saints is gonna love it and so forth, but yeah. it's not gonna it's not gonna make a difference. And I, Rocky I should have just kept this it, blend. Yeah, I think it could sell well, um, you know, because a lot of Rocky type blends sell really well. Uh, but I hope for the next release, they kind of go outside of the comfort zone and come up with something more interesting. If they ever release a Rocky Patel Tabacuza Mexican Mexican San Andreas, this will be that cigar. <laughs> cigar aficionado will give it a ninety four. There you go. All right, if you just catch this video on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to us. We'll also check out the full written review on the website developmentpalace.com. Follow us on all the social media channels, and you can catch all of our review recaps on podcasts, iTunes, Google Play, and Podbean. Thank you for tuning in. We'll catch you on the next one.